This new Burn Lab mod will blow your mind. And in this week of Burn Lab, we're going to be checking it out. On top of that, we're also going to be having a look at a few bonuses too, so stick around. Let's get straight into it. Welcome to Memphis Meadows by Atlas. I've been anticipating this mod for a good 3-4 weeks and it's finally here. This mod consists of a ginormous, really realistic map. In the middle of some forests and open fields. It's absolutely beautiful. And I thought what better thing to do than spend an entire day camping out in Memphis Meadows. With the absence of a Burn Lab update, we have all been slowly descending into chaos and madness. And for the first time ever, I feel like I'm close to running out of things to do in Bone Lab. I thought I'd never say that. So this map is an absolute refresher and shows why the modding community can often carry this game. Although having nothing official from Stress Level Zero, the modders are always here to keep on adding new stuff every single day. And there's something high quality every single week. Memphis Meadows happens to be the biggest one for this week. Although being as crazy and large and high detailed as this map is, it does come with a toll on performance. And this map is also not available for Quest because Atlas said it is literally impossible for this to be ported to Quest, just because of how much is going on. One of this map's very large features is this weird wooden terminal thing where you can change the time of day and even toggle stuff off, like toggle the water off, toggle the trees off, toggle the grass off. An absolute insane amount of customizability that you don't find anywhere else. Sadly, the weathers can look a little different and glitched on the spectator camera, which you guys are seeing, but when you're in the VR headset, the weathers work excellently. Babble Corpse Jubble Jibble Jeep also fits really well in this map, and it just feels absolutely natural driving around a massive field in an off-road jeep like this. Using the power of the constrainer tool and my amazing non-body soup, I decided to go fishing in Bone Lab. Yes, I bet you never tried something like this, eh? And this map's the perfect candidate just for it. I caught absolutely nothing, but I wasn't about to give up yet. Something is definitely pulling. We got one, we got one, and it's a big one. Check it out, guys, that is an absolute personal best. Imagine if a future Stress Level Zero game actually did have some sort of mechanic like fishing. I think it would be really cool to actually be able to toss your line outwards and maybe reel it back in with physics. That would be really awesome. Well hey, this is certainly a new best. I challenge you guys to try and beat my catch. With a bit of creative thinking, even magnet fishing is possible in Bolab. A bit on the map itself, I haven't tested but I'm not sure how well this runs in Fusion. Considering that it will probably give you problems in single player, I don't think Fusion will run too well. But this is why this mod comes with two performance maps too. So you can come onto a performance map and it will run a lot better, probably more suited for Fusion. I didn't actually try these so I haven't got any footage, but they are probably very useful. Memphis Meadows is definitely going to stand out as one of my favourites. It is very impressive that something like this is possible to be made while also still running, because this map is big, and I mean big. It takes like two minutes to Nimbus gun across the entire map, and that's with a Nimbus gun. And to finish our time off in Memphis Meadows, we are going to be camping the night with Ford. So this is the map not on the nighttime setting, but actually on a separate map you can load into, which is extra, extra nighttime where everything is really dark. Although once again, on the camera, it doesn't look as dark as it actually is. It's terrifyingly dark on my screen, but for you guys, it's nice and bright. Welcome to Cyber Junk City. We spoke about this in a previous episode of This Week in Burn Lab, and now I get to play it for myself. Turns out this map is from Rec Room, which a lot of people told me down in the comments, so thank you for that. I really like what this map looks like. The colors and the visuals are just brilliant. And there's even some ambient sound effects throughout the entire map. This map is intended for Fusion Deathmatch, and I didn't play any here, but I have got to play some Fusion Deathmatch on this map, because it looks really good. There's a lot of verticality in it, there's a bunch of hallways, passageways, so much stuff to explore. And it just looks like a really good fusion map.
Now you might have noticed me using this avatar earlier. This is the Hasbulla avatar by Rican and Scary Man. I don't know why, but I've been absolutely loving this avatar despite how dumb and stupid it is. He's honestly a really good short avatar, not to mention that he has dripped out. If you're looking to spice up your short avatar, then Hasbulla's a great pick. It is really funny seeing this small little man in Burla. I actually took this a step further and decided to beat the entirety of the campaign as just Hasbulla in this week of Friday Night Fusion. Not just this, but me and a team of others decided to take a large dungeon brick from the start of the game to the end of the game, and we found out that it was possible with only two skips. I also didn't change my avatar once. I stayed as Hasbulla the entire game, and yes, it is possible. Let me stink it. Oh. Oh. Wait, pass it, pass it, pass it. Wait. I got a hold of it, I got a hold, I got a hold. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> That's enough. Oh, is he gonna pants? Yo, look. Oh, he landed perfectly. So, I pop it. Um. The sewers are currently blocked. Okay. Um, sorry, Monogon. I just want to stay clogged. I'm going to launch the fucking dungeon brick at the colors. Oh, what a shot! That, that, that's general. At the end of the game, I ended up being by myself, so I used dev tools to get the dungeon brick to where it needed to be, but I did beat the game fully as Hasbullo with no cheats. An amazingly fun challenge. You guys should try something like this too, especially in Bone Lab Fusion. The combinations of being able to pass stuff between each other to get props over places where they usually can't be is just so cool and satisfying every time it happens. And with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been feeling very ill recently, so that's why this video is shorter than any other episode, so I do apologize in advance for that. But thank you all so much for watching. And if you enjoyed what you saw, subscribe and make sure to download the mods down in the description. I will see you guys next week. Goodbye. Thank you so much to all of my supporters. Gunner Dahan, Tentacles, Zeromatic, Pie Lover, Mizzy Keen, Dank Mean Boy, Purge Fly Fox, Judger and Chris, Ninja Gamer, Fernando Yurista, Oddo, Sage of Kindness, Flamzy, Carl's Tunes, Mystery, Leal Doe, The Best EV, Flipper Flopper, Sardalini, PS King, Gamer Tin Can Endure, Fancy Man, Frosty the B Star, and Yoshi Cooper. You guys are all absolute legends.